A couple of upsets. Let's have a look at the final scores. Port in a magnificent performance in the last half. Got up to beat Norwood by eight points. South Adelaide, I think most people would consider that an upset. What a marvellous win. Congratulations, John Reid and all of his South Adelaide players. Central District, in three quarters they kicked ten goals a quarter. And uh, it was only in the third quarter when they booted five. They didn't keep up with that average. Poor old Torrens, that wasn't a good performance. And North Adelaide, a big victory over Woodville. And Woodville at this stage, at the bottom of the ladder. And... Uh, I suppose when you consider that uh, they won the Escort Cup and they're at the bottom of the ladder in the home and away series, uh, that just doesn't seem to add up. They're a better side than that. The uh, remaining game today, the one from Football Park, and uh, no doubt Glenelg uh, pre-post favourites, but Sturt beat them in the Escort Cup. Let's see how it pans out. We're going to pick up play two minutes into the final quarter. At that stage, Sturt leading by 12 points. Barry Hank and Merv Kane looking pretty relaxed or chance to bring up the big upset against the undefeated league leader. I said the moment of truth for Sturt. Maybe it's the moment of truth for Glenelg. McDermott sends him into attack. Wellsby comes to meet it. Quickly, here's a chance now for Mr. Bickler. He's going to have to work hard for this. Gets the ball out. Coming through. Smith whips it out. Whittlesey. The running power is Russell. Scott type hard forward line. Quickly, I passes it back to Russell in the 1-2. Clear. Kim Russell leads in the race. Forward pocket. Salisbury won't get there. Hooks around looking for Kitschke. They leap. Crumbs, can't get it out. Down's in there. Christie, over the top is Duthie, and the umpire will come in and ball it up 20 metres out in front of the Sturt goal. Umpire David Elliott and Rick Kinnear have the unenviable task of controlling players in this final term. They'll all be desperate. I chips the ball in front of him to gain a little bit of space. Finally, the ball rebounds up to him. He goes short, looking for McWilliam. Kim Russell stole the crumbs. Painter's short, that's where he hits. Painter's got it. 50 metres out directly in front. Into space, the running player is Pobblestone. And Pobblestone is now 40 metres out. And the angle is more acute. Oh, Pobblestone has the short kick on the lead. Whittlesey in the pocket, he's got it. The double blues lead by two goals. Whittlesey, 15 metres out. On a very acute angle, kick number nine. An opportunity of putting the double blues three goals clear. Sturt fans on the edge of their seat. As Whittlesey comes in, he's got it. Three goals in front of the double blues. Has Merv Kane got an upset? Whittlesey's first goal. But uh, I don't think it's uh, been the Whittlesey's and Painters that have really uh, kept Sturt and given them a lead in the game. It's been the young blokes, the Russells, Cobblestones. And they've done it very well. It's a real test for Sturt. But now we'll come back at, back at them strongly now. Let's see if they can hang on. They're looking pretty weary, and that wouldn't have helped their legs, seeing another goal on the board against them. They're 18 points down. Great performance. Line ball, that one. Trying to break his way through there. Painter, half forward line. Grenvold leads it behind. Working hard. Shacky can't... No, Heinrich can't get it out. And the umpire will ball it up once more, right on the edge of the big centre square. The Blues in attack. Gee, they've confounded their critics this afternoon. Carey puts it out wide. Simons needs a set. He gets it. On the left leg, up towards full forward. West can't pull it down. Quickly in there now. It's uh, Butterick to Chigwitten. Chigwitten shoots. Think that's going to be close. Goal! Bring it lead on. Wait for it. Yes, it's a goal. Chigwitten's first. Second kick. The base fight back. 10-12 to 12-12. Certainly have a sniff. The adrenaline is pumping. The work came from Kitschke up forward. He tried to paddle the ball forward instead of marking it. Russell, the sharpshooter, was at the bottom of the pack and miraculously out of nowhere. He snapped for goal, got his first. The Bay's 14th. They have 14-12. Glenelg 10-12. Good reward for hard work. Reynolds. Even Stevens, Chick Whitten. McWilliam in there battling hard. Ball comes out loose. In tough with Hewitt. Bubblestone goes forward again. Shacky can't do anything. Donovan's there to recover. As he tackles him. Oh, to goal. Another one. It is. His second. 12th kick. What a great day for the Blues. 14-12. 102. Glenelg get all sorts of strike. Can they get back? 10-12-72. Well, I don't reckon they can, Neville. Oh, this is a brilliant performance by the Blues. I'm sure I was like everyone else. Kept on expecting the 
Bays to, to run over the top of them, but if anything, it's going the other way. Sturt to five, clear now. The Bays are struggling. They're running backwards almost, and the Blues are doing it brilliantly. 15-12 plays, 10-12, 10 minutes gone. Peter Carey would know there's no certainties in South Australian football. The double Blues about to cause an upset. Chigwidden, McDermott, oh, the thump is forward. Out comes Gibbs intercepting Smith. They're desperate in defence. The double Blues are working the ball solidly. They have players running into space. Smith got it back from Painter and turned Pobblestone. Painter, Smith, they're running down in lines. The double Blues forward. Downs, Doofy. Oh, he ran himself out of play, Doofy. Boundary umpire wasn't there. Play on's the call. Short it goes. Stringer. Stringer handballs off. Doofy followed the ball downfield. Towards the centre it goes. Underneath that one off. Oh, Gibbs couldn't take it. But in, he has been infringed. The free kick will go to Ross Gibbs at centre field. Gibbs has Donovan running short. That's where he heads into space. Goes Donovan. He can line up the goals. He just needs to run himself clear. He's done so. Donovan lines up the goals. He blasts away. But it's off line. And did Glenelg need that? They, they did. Donovan's upset with himself. Corn's upset with all of them at the moment, I think. I don't think he's conceded yet. All resigned to the fact, but uh, at the kick out. Underwood to Heinrich. To Russell. He'll have two bounces if he wants them. He's got plenty of time. To Wellesby. Back to Scott Russell. Close to the boundary line there. I kick the last goal. Back to Heinrich. He'll step around over the shoulder, maybe. Elliot sees it that way too. Umpire Elliot. Tony Simon says, if you want it, you can have it, but uh, I'm not very happy about it. Heinrich. Peter Heinrich. He go along the centre-half forward. Kitschke from behind. He nudges. Grenbold. Stringer. Chip Whedon. They're trying to run something, make something happen. McDermott, that's a bad handball. Heinrich. Look out, I want to come through, he says to McWilliam. Chip Whedon. Cleverly through. Shocking handball. McDermott. He just decides to go long. They need a mark in the square. Whitten can't. Underwood trying to clean up. Reed weaves his way out of the pack. Sees Painter. Away he goes. Richter. He goes long to centre half forward. Shackie leading to the ball. Seabone there as well. He'll come around on his left foot. Carey will give it back to him. Oh, that's a bad handball. They're just untidy, Glenelg, at the moment. And he goes short into the centre, looking for Gibbs. He's under pressure. Well done, Sturt. They held him up. Gibbs to take the kick. Yeah, I think they're running backwards. They look tired. 20th kick to Gibbs. He certainly hasn't let his team down. Stringer behind. You can't tell me he's fit now. He hasn't showed the same dash. He's going to have to work hard for this one. Whips it out. Chance for Tony Simons. Had a great third quarter on the leaders. Butterick. And that's where the ball will end. Butterick. About 35-40 out. Winton in short. 10th kick. 29 points down. And the Bays need a goal, and they need it now. Gee, it's a nice-looking kick, and that's home for all money. No doubt about that one. Butterick, second goal. The Bays fight back. 11-13 to 15-12 on 10 sport. Goes on to his left. Whittlesey grabs him, pulls him to ground. Simon through McDermott. He'll go long into the forward line. Underneath it is West. Behind is Walk. Winton at goal. That's good. Well done, Winton. That's his fifth. Ninth kick, improvising for Warren Ralph. The milk now 12-13-85. Trailing Sturt, 16-12, 108. You've got to give 12 out of 10 to Geoffrey Winton. I would think it's the first time he's ever played full forward, and certainly he hasn't been the reason that the Bays are in strife. He's booted five from full forward. An unlikely full forward is Geoffrey Winton, but caught on the right foot then. An acute angle, he did well to put on his fifth, and the Bays get back within four. 23 points to margin. You're quite right. The Bays will need to kick four straight goals and hold the double blues to no score in order to win this game. 17 and a half minutes gone, final term. David Elliott and Rick Kinnear, they've had their hands full today. Full bodied commitment from both sides. Carey and Reynolds did heat that one, but the ball bounces down to McDermott. To full forward he goes. Oh, Ross Gibbs. He pushed Smith off that one. Smith the field for the free kick. But Gibbs goes back to line up for goal number three. He chips short. Too casual. In fact, very casual. One point. 30 metres out from goal. 
he rushes it. 60 metres out from goal, he goes through post high. That's not a very cool thing to do. That could have made the difference. That would have put him within three goals. And as I said, it's a dangerous time for Sturt. The excitement's gone out of the game and they're just chipping away. Great Mark Reed. They're keeping the pressure on, though. They're not going to give Glenelg any opportunity to get back in this game if they can help it. His 13th kick, and it's long to the centre of the ground. Lawrence Shackey can do nothing there. Hewitt is very quick. Oh, and he just runs Salisbury into all sorts of trouble. And he's hurt. But he's up. He's tough. Back to centre half forward. Grimble's underneath it. Downs comes through. Heinrich on his knees. Gives out to Kim Russell. Russell to Popplestone. He's in trouble. Gets rid of the tackle from Donovan. Back to the centre. Back to Kim Russell. He can get around and have a shot. Great tackle. Tony Simons. They're not giving up one help. Out of the back line. Simons. Intercepted there by Whittlesey. Read it well. Timay, who's just come on the ground, back to the centre of the goals. Kitsky underneath it, but it's Christie. Plays on, goes to Seaboam. He's in trouble. Over to Timay. He can't pick it up. Out of bounds. Pressure's high. Workload's high. But still, well, no, unable to get back in it. Oh, what a word for Scotty Russell. Uh, Scotty Salisbury. He took a bone-shattering jump. It was a, a bump. It was all good football from Underwood. And it laid him to rest, and he got up, and he tackled, he chased, he harried, and he's back in the game. Ten out of ten. McDermott high, back towards the half-back line. Temay with him back there. It is McWilliam. He's got the footy now, heads towards goal again, puts it on its way, but it's offline. Another point, and a valuable point to Sturt. It means that, uh, well, it's just eking out the seconds. Still, the Bays need four goals to win. Christie from fullback. They need to play direct football, Glenelg. Oh, Scotty Salisbury tried to thump the ball forward. Coming through strongly, I. Chick winning over the top of the ball. And I'm fine, David Elliott will bounce. <laughs> Scotty Salisbury is certainly a committed footballer. Ten kicks and seven handballs today. Not his greatest game, but doesn't he keep trying? So does this bloke, Peter Carey. And McDermott played for the free play on called the umpire. Stringer got the handball out to Simons. It was run down by Popplestone. Holding the ball. Free kick to Popplestone. And a 15-metre penalty. Rick Kinnear takes control. Simons the offender. In fact, Gibbs. Simons on this occasion, another one. And they don't need this, the Bays. They need to take possession and play direct football. Popplestone to the pocket to the lead of Kitschke. Kitschke's up. Oh, he couldn't mark that one. Christie thumped it away. Salisbury in front of himself. But Kim Russell carries the ball across the line. 21 minutes gone. Final term. Football back. And it looks already to be an upset. They're surviving the test. Just being intense. Keeping people at the fall of the ball. Backline players playing in front. Forwards playing in front. Just doing all the basics correct. String of tackles. Out to McWilliam. Nice shepherd. Good smother by Carey the footy there is Shackey, he can't get over the top of it well, McWilliam meets McDermott it's an Irish contest it was Scottish contest Brimbong Brimbong still in there number 12 is Kim Russell they're desperate, they want to hang on to the game and at 21 minutes in, I reckon they can the Bays are giving it everything but it doesn't appear as though on the day they're good enough Full marks to Sturt, they're doing it well. Almost 22 minutes gone, 16, 13, 12, 14. The second's running out for the base. McDermott's looking for a free kick. He, this time he'll get it. He's still inside the half-back line, and the Bays need four goals. 7,252 at Footy Park for the big one. Gibbs runs the ball out of defence. Kicks long to the lead now of Seabone. Tack side of centre wing on the outer side. The Bays want goals and want them quickly. Seabone goes in long, looking for Big Winton. Reynolds back there with him. Underwood, Painter. That was beautifully done. The running power is Richter if it sits. Now Smith, centre wing, goes long. Beautifully put for Downs. Downs needs to sit as well. Closing is McDermott. Out goes Downs. Duthie, McDermott. If he's got enough strength, he'll run it out of defence. Gibbs. Bit of fancy stuff there. Tango's nicely. Running himself onto his wrong foot. He's still clear. Now he sets it up for Hewitt. The Bays will want to do it quickly. Or Chigwitten might be one too many. Over the half forward line. Go to the Bays. Chigwitten heads for home. But just a little bit of pressure put on him by Reynolds. And that's top stuff. And a pat on the bottom is the right thing to do. 
One point only, Glenelg. Very accurate, Daisy, and that's been the feature of Sturt all day. Just a little bit of pressure in defence. That's kept the Glenelg forwards unsettled. Painter inside the line. Quiet day for him. Around the corner he goes. The high fly. Oh, well done, Whittlesey. And Whittlesey will slow down proceedings. We've played 23 and a half minutes of the final term. Kick number 13. It's long, it's direct. That's the way the double blues have played all day. Seabone thumps it down to Salisbury. In turn, the ball goes out to Stringer. Now Hewitt running through centre to full forward. Big fellas up in West. Oh, he's got it, West. Perhaps a, a matter of too little, too late. Big Jim West, kick number six. 24 minutes gone. They trail by four goals. Jim West lines it up, kicks on its way. That's his first. Vanell go to 13 goals, 14, 92, trailing the double boost. And they've got to get three goals. Carey against Leanett. Reynolds has gone to the bunker for a spell, and he put in a great effort for the Blues, but they go ahead again through Painter. Out towards the half-forward line, it's Grenvold getting across. We'll see there with him. Grenvold will seek the aid of Simons in turn. Duthie, the bay's off the half-back line. Oh, Duthie lost it. He's got to get rid of it. He's slow. The umpire let him go. Now McDermott puts out the pass for Gibbs. In front of him, it is uh, Mark Hewitt, and he's got it. Centre wing, maybe the attack side. Time running out. The Bays are going to have to hurry. Out comes West. West can't quite. The umpire said no. Chigwitten holding the ball. Great tackle. Sturt will take all the time in the world to get rid of this. And Peter Reid has done a fine job at centre half back for the Blues this afternoon. In fact, their whole defence has put in a great performance. Oh, you're not wrong, Daisy. 13 kicks and five handballs to Reid. Solid game from half back. The kick is long off from behind. Salisbury, the flyer, couldn't take it. I gets it on Kim Russell. Kicked his foot off this afternoon. Goes long to full forward. Ducey. Oh, in trouble. Grenville throwing the ball. Play on call down pass. Christie gets it off to Ducey. Forward, Simons. Three Sturt players there. Good shepherd. Forward it goes, Grenville. Back to Chigwinnon. Here he's looking for the run. Chigwitten needs to get moving. Time running out for the Bays. Inboard to McDermott. Bone McDermott across the top. Stringer with pace. Oh, he's run himself into trouble. Back to McDermott. Short it goes. And the mark's been taken at centre half forward by Timay. Paul Timay goes short. Oh, Winton's out. They're playing indirect football, the Bays. They'll pay the price. Stringer to Carey. Can set the line up the goal. It's on its way. Serpent's got it. That's his first. 14-14. The Bays trail Sturt. 16-13 on 10 sports action. Playing around with the footy is an understatement. They don't need to do that. There's too many experienced players in that side to be mucking around with the ball. Super shakes his head. Really doesn't know how they got the ball through there, I don't think. That's probably what they've been doing all day. A little undisciplined, but well done. It's not over yet. 27 if minutes. If the Bays get out of this... Houdini will pile into insignificance. Carey against Lena. Sturt have got to fight on. Stringer whips it out. McDermott having a great last quarter. Donovan, the Bays go forward again. Up comes West at the back. Waiting his chances, Gibbs. Mr. Cool's got it. Tackle on him by Walk. Down he goes. Plowing is the call. Smith gets it out to Reed. Sturt kick clear. Centre wing. And they've got it out there. And they should slow it down. Heinrich. Timers on their side. They've got 11-point advantage. And we've played almost three minutes of time on. And Studley can see the game going down the chute. Up towards the half-forward line. Popham's done through. The Blues go forward. In towards Kitschke. With him there is Christie. Thumps well. But the ball is out of play in the full forward left pocket. And again, valuable seconds ticking away for Sturt. And they've got a lead of 11 points. 28 minutes gone. Time running out for Glenelg. There's been 10 goals scored this term. It means we'll have at least five minutes of time on. We'll play over 30 minutes. We've gone just past 28. Chigwinnon to Salisbury around the corner. McDermott, oh, back underneath that McWilliam. And the double blues are answering every Glenelg challenge. Merv Kane pondering a victory. Mark Heinrich 
Slowing it down. He'll go for a long kick into the forward zone. They're playing the pockets. Good tactics. From behind, the spoil came down to Grenville. The kick is long. Glenelg need to play long and direct football. They need to get it moving quickly. But the Rocket Gibraltar Underwood has thwarted them again. Heinrich picking up valuable possessions in this late quarter. Painter, long on the left foot, deep into the pocket. Downs is there. Duthie the spoil from behind. Eyes had the ball pinned to him. The umpire said, holding the ball. Free kick goes the way of Glenelg player in Mark Donovan. Kane. He'd like the siren to go right now. McWilliam from behind. He comes back. McDermott in there as well. Chick Witten has a look in. Nothing going to happen. And David Elliott will bounce the ball. Maybe a couple of minutes left. They need two goals. They're not gone yet, Glenelg. And Sturt know it. They'll keep the pressure on. Line it from behind. McWilliam. He'd like to see it out of bounds. So too with Kim Russell. If they can keep jumping on the ball, they will. Almost 30 minutes gone. The, fire and the final siren is imminent. The Sturt bunker looking well, happy, a little tense. Mervyn Kane, have you answered your detractors in the best possible way, beating the top team? I think you have. Still the seconds tick away. Over 30 minutes gone now. And it's Sturt by 11 points. What a victory it'll be for the Blues. The publicity hasn't been their way in recent times. McDermott over the top. The Bays are fighting on like a good side. Short siren's gone. The Blues have done it. Mervyn Kane is ecstatic. As I said, the greatest way to answer the critics is to win the games of footy. And it's a brilliant result for the Blues. 16-13 to 14-14 on 10 sports action. What a great way to do it. And the Blues made it two in a row today with an 11-point victory over the Bays. And uh, that's a good Bay side, by the way, and uh, they fought it out pretty well. But Sturt, as you can see, just too good. The goal scorers, plenty of them. For Sturt, Kitschke booted six, I three, and Downs two. And for Glenelg, it was Winton with five goals. That was a good effort. Gibbs booted two, and Butterick also booted two. Just an injury report. Snee Bickler has a sore ankle. And for Sturt, McCarthy, a bruised calf. He came off in the first quarter.